Welcome back to East Texas Live on KTK. And joining us now are Tony Alderma and Marie Calhoun with Innovative Challenges. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. I, and I can't wait to get to what you guys have to tell us. Tell us, first of all, a little bit about your organization, what it is that you guys do, where you serve. Um, Innovative Challenges started off because there's no um, activities and outings for special needs individuals, especially over a certain age. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention the fact that they don't get very much from the state and they can't afford to go dinner, movies, that kind of thing. And we yeah. started out with the Renaissance Festival in Waxahachie. And they've enjoyed it. We've been doing it 16 years. Wow. So no and one no one has said they didn't like it, so we keep doing it. And we've <laughs> taken over 700 guys to the Renaissance Festival. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Well, why is it so important to uh, give everyone the opportunity to get out there and do this kind of thing? It improves your quality of life. Yeah. I mean, just think about how we've all been during the pandemic and how we've been cooped up and couldn't go out and do anything and it mm -hmm. drove us all mm -hmm. crazy. Well, it's 10 times worse for these guys. Because mm -hmm. that's their daily life anyway. So mm -hmm. we want to just take them out and let them experience things, have a good, good time, you know, and then like for Christmas, we want to do a big Christmas for them. Mm -hmm. we, we're, uh, there's toiletries right here, yeah. um, which is a lot what they ask for unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, but what we plan on doing this year is there's a, um, it's kind of a secondhand garage sale place uh, in Longview called Nemo's Treasures. Mm -hmm. And the lady there, Carrie, has decided uh, that she wants to do a toiletry drive this mm -hmm. year for the agencies that service the group homes. Yes. And, and I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about Christmas because I understand um, you still have a campaign going on right now. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so right now we're raffling off a 2021 Harley, 75 inch TV and a little robot vacuum cleaner. Um, tickets are $100 and all the proceeds are going towards getting 200 guys Christmas this year. Mm -hmm. And so far we've had to extend it because I didn't sell enough tickets. This is my first first one, uh -huh. so, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so it's, everybody it, has to bear with me. It, well, and, hey, and it's a weird year, too, and, and so happy that you guys are able to do this. I understand you have a drawing to give out, too, to help give back to the folks who have been giving to you. Yes, so because I had to extend it, I wanted to just let everybody know that has already bought a raffle ticket that I'm going to do a weekly drawing until we get to the big one. And mm -hmm. this week I'm giving away this really gorgeous cool. Lego set. It's a, a little Harley Lego set. It's like thousands of pieces. So if you give it to your little kids, somebody's <laughs> feet are going to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't step around the construction zone. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you guys have a drawing today too? I do. Would you like to draw a name? Sure. Okay. Let's see. We've got Bobby Bradley. Congratulations to Bobby. All right, Thank Bobby, you. I will be calling you soon. <laughs> Don't you worry. Yeah, we've got the number right here. And uh, this is so great. I thank you to Bobby, all the donors that have uh, helped you guys, you know, keep going on. Do you have any messages for folks as we enter this holiday season? Um, you know, we're thinking about the spirit of giving here. Yes. Um, so, oh, Lord, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Uh, just it's to me it's better to give than to receive yeah and I just love doing these Christmas parties for these guys we were able to do one in 2019 and just to oh see the extreme joy and happiness is better than having your kids your little kids coming down for Christmas and seeing yeah. it so it's just amazing most of the kids that live in these group homes usually don't have family for the holidays and that's yes. why they're the ones that get chosen Mm -hmm. uh, so they can but we can't enjoy. do anything without these guys mm -hmm. so without you guys donating and helping us you know you're making their day brighter and you're making me happy because mm -hmm. I get to see their smiles wonderful we That's all are an absolute pleasure thank you guys so much for coming on for talking about mm -hmm. all the important work that you guys have done and innovative solutions folks if you're looking innovative challenges innovative oh, challenges I, excuse me can I tell them yes, where please. they can get their tickets okay so you can go to uh, John Hamblin in Longview it's a uh, Fear no fro. You can go to Bill's Cycle in Henderson and talk to Billy. Great mechanic. He'll do good <laughs> for you. Um, so Henderson, um, you can always call me. Yes. And you can get County Line Steakhouse mm -hmm. in Kilgore. Fantastic. And you can talk to James and you can get a ticket. But call me. I'll meet you day or night. Just not in a dark alley. <laughs> sure. Well, that's that's a, the good standard there. And, we'll, and we're also on Facebook, um, Twitter, and we have our nonprofit. Yeah. So look website. me up, Marie Calhoun or Innovative Challenges. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for taking the time.